here are five drawings with different dimension problems. Let me go over on how to solve them and also share some of my best tips and tricks. Welcome to another lazy show where we teach you AutoCAD in a way that it's more productive so you can stop wasting your time. Dimension problem number one, inconsistency with the dimension layers. As you can see over here in my drawing, we'll have a dimension on a anode dims layer and these other ones on a dim layer. They have different properties such as color and so on. So the solution is a system variable to control the default layer for our dimensions. This it's called dim layer. And once we use this system variable, we can set a layer. For instance, we can say the dimensions and then look what's going to happen. Once I add a dimension, our dimension will come on that dimension layer. Isn't that great guys? Number two, the dimension extension lines crossing objects. <laughs> So as you can see over here, this is a very common problem in AutoCAD where sometimes I receive drawings and the dimension lines are everywhere overlapping objects and this doesn't look professional. So a way to solve this problem is select one of the dimensions and go to your properties and have the dimension style named as SAL96. So once we know that, we can go to the dimension style manager. And by picking our, our dimension style, we can modify this. And the option that we need to modify is under the lines tab, there would be an option that says fix length extension lines. So once we check that, and we can change the numbers, but half inch works for this example. And once we click OK and close, you're going to see that our dimension extension lines are looking way more professional and are all consistent and have the same length. So what do you think about this solution to solve dimension extension line crossing objects? Third dimension problem and solution inconsistent dimension scales as you can see in this elevation drawing the scale or size of the the dimensions are inconsistent and if we select one of the dimensions and go to our property palette we can see that the dim style is arch 96 and if we go to the bigger dimension we can also see that it is the same dimension style. So then what's going on? So the reason why this is happening is because there is a system variable that can control the scale of dimensions. And this system variable is called dim scale. So how do we know the correct scale that we need to set this in order to get correct dimension size? Let me let me find that scale chart for the factors and scaling. And this is based on our drawing scale or viewport that it's here for architectural. And basically what's happening is that in order to set up the correct scale for our dimensions, we will need to go to paper space and check our viewport scale or drawing scale so we can get inside by double clicking on our viewport and we will be able to see that our drawing is at 3 16 of an inch scale. So that's very important. So once we know that we can go back to the chart and if we find 3 16 here, we can see that the factor or scale factor would be 64. And that's the number that we need to set up our dimension scale. So dim scale and let's set that to 64 
And if we draw our dimension out using the regular dimension command and go from here all the way up here, we can see that our dimension comes in the correct size. So we can erase this huge dimension now. And that's how we solve inconsistency with dimension scales. Dimension problem number four. TVD. Look what will happen with this restroom and this mechanical room over here that are being dimensioned here, a feet, five feet, six. So if we don't have our dimensions, what will happen is that if we open our XREF, clicking on it and going to open XREF, if I modify my restroom, stretching it using the stretch command, so let's say I stretch these 12 inches down, like so, 12 inches. I'm gonna move this like so, and I'm gonna save my drawing with Control S. So if I go to my floor plan and reload my XREF, what's gonna happen is that our dimensions, since they were not associated, are not updating per our changes. And this is a very common problem and sometimes what people do here is only adjust their um, dimensions. But what will happen if we do dozens of changes? Would we want to go to each dimension and manually update it? No. So the solution to this problem of dimension associativity is it's a system variable called dim asoc. So if we use dim asoc, for associativity, I'm going to use and press enter. We will have uh, to set up a number from zero to two. And if we don't know what's going on, what we can do is press the F1 on our keyboard and AutoCAD will give us some useful information. So this is a system variable and we have the values from zero to two, as I was mentioning. And now two will create associative dimension objects. So that's what we want. So if you ever faced this problem, that means that your value for your team ASOC was either zero or one, but not two. So knowing that mine was two, so I'm gonna press enter to accept that. And look what's gonna happen if I draw a dimension now. So I'm gonna draw a dimension really quick from this corner all the way up to this corner. And for now, I'm just gonna put it here. This is for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna click here and here and put it there. So let's now edit our base plan. So I'm gonna click and open our XREF. And let's say I want to move this or stretch this up. So what I'm gonna do is stretch this about 12 inches and press enter. So there, I'm gonna save my drawing and go back to my floor plan. And look what happened when I uh, reload my XREF. You can see immediately that my dimensions were automatically updated. Isn't that great, guys? So what do you think about this technique of utilizing the dim ASOC system variable? Problem number five, <laughs> inconsistent dimension styles. Yes. So as you can see over here, we have different dimension styles. One is Arch 96. This other one is RVW 96. And we can see immediately the differences. So this is a very common problem. If we go to the DIMSD for the dimension style manager, we might not have our standard or correct dimension style available. So that's why people will start using other dimension styles and this will uh, bring up problems. So a solution for always have your standard dimension style available in all of your drawings is a macro command called the lazy dim style and with one click will bring up your standard dimension style so you don't have these dimension style problems in your drawings.